Hello friends, in my this video, I am going to discuss another very interesting lead code problem and the problem title is valid boomerang. So what uh, is the problem statement? Let us try to understand. A boomerang is a set of three points that all distinct and not in a straight line. Okay, that means three points will be given. We have to check whether that uh, all the three points are distinct or they are situated on a same straight line. If they are situated on a same straight line, then they are not boomerang. Otherwise, they are boomerang. Okay, given a list of three points in a plane, return whether these points are a boomerang or not. So suppose for particular example, if you consider this one, 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 two, three, and three, two are three points then the output will be true. If you draw in graph sheet, you can find that uh, this is not going to be a uh, same straight line, not going to be in a same straight line. Similarly, if you 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, this is nothing but y equal to x uh, curve, so that, uh, sorry for this pop-up, uh, so for no doubt, that output is going to be false. A note, some constants are given, point dot length is always equal to 3, point of i dot length always equal to 2, and 0 less than equal to point of ij less than equal to 100 okay so what is the algorithm you can uh, apply for solving this particular problem in o of n or here we as uh, the uh, size of the input is always constant so rather i can say in o of one time complexity how we can solve this particular problem just try to think about that pause my video Try to think about optimized solution, implement that in Eclipse or NetBeans or in some other uh, online compiler. Check whether uh, the code is working or not. If it is working well and good, but if it is not working, uh, here I am discussing, no need to worry about anything. So what I am going to do to check whether the all the three points are on same straight line or not, I am going to use a fundamental concept which you might have studied in your class 4 mathematics course. Okay, class 4 or class 5, while starting of your triangle. In the triangle, you might have studied this particular property. If you were uh, sitting for any placement process, then you might have solved some geometry related problems also based on this. This is widely used one simple principle. That is only one triangle we form that in a particular condition if it is satisfied, suppose A, B, and c are the three lengths of the triangle then if c is the maximum a and b are smaller length so the maximum length should be less than sum of the two other smaller sides length okay so this condition must has to be satisfied and that can be visualized easily with this simple uh, diagram here three diagrams are given c a and b are clearly smaller than c c is the longest length and B is a smallest and A is uh, the middle uh, length, okay? So now you can clearly observe if C becomes uh, more and more, then what will happen? This particular point will directly shift to the downward direction and eventually the figure will look like this when C is almost equal to A plus B. And when C equal to A plus B, then no doubt they are situating on a same straight line. So this particular condition c equal to a plus b this is what we are going to use for making the particular three points are on same straight line or not the idea is very simple if uh, three points are situated on same straight line then by adding two distance we will get the third distance so basically i can say like this that is if a is one point and b is one point and c is one point then uh, suppose a, a, a b i am considering here a b length as uh, equal to x okay and uh, suppose uh, b c length equal to suppose y and suppose our c a that is extreme two corner lengths are equal to z okay now in that case obviously a x plus y in this particular diagram this particular condition x plus y equal to z must has to be satisfied otherwise this will no, not a, not be a uh, on a same straight line so x plus y equal to z here why we are telling x plus y equal to z because we can clearly see ac distance that is basically z is the longest one but in programming if you don't want to calculate the maximum uh, that is z so what you can do uh, you can apply this kind of condition if x plus y equal to z or if y plus z equal to x 
or if ax plus j equal to y if any of the three conditions satisfied then no doubt they are on a same state line that's what i am going to follow here so see to calculate the distance in between two points suppose this is x1 and this is uh, x coordinate is x1 and y coordinate is y1 for this particular point and for this particular point uh, here suppose x2 and y2 then in that case the distance is what very simple uh, square root of x1 minus x2 whole square plus y1 minus y2 whole square simple right that's what i have done here see very simple code class solution solution is our class name public boolean is boomerang is boomerang is our function name and boolean is the return type okay if it is boolean that is if the points are not on a same straight line then we are going to return true otherwise false okay int one matrix we are passing points okay and the matrix is no doubt will consist of three rows and two columns okay now what i am doing i am extracting all the points so x coordinates are situated on the zeroth column and y coordinates are situated on the uh, column index of 1 okay so x1 will be point of 0 0 y1 will be 0 1 x2 will be 1 0 y2 will be 1 1 x3 will be 2 0 y3 will be 2 1 very simple now i am calculating the distance between between each and individual point so return type of math dot squared function is double so don't mistake here you may write int by mistake then that will not work okay so double a equal to math dot squared x1 minus x2 star x1 minus x2 i am doing basically x1 minus x2 whole square if you want to you can do math dot pow x1 minus x2 comma 2 that also is possible but here simply i am writing that plus y1 minus y2 star y1 minus y2 so this whole expression is nothing but square root of x1 minus x2 whole square plus y1 minus y2 whole square similarly double b equal to math dot squared here i am calculating the distance between x1 comma y1 and x3 comma y3 so that math math dot squared x1 minus x3 star x1 minus x3 plus y1 minus y3 star y1 minus y3 here you no need to think about the order no need to think which one is greater y1 or y3 because we are squaring anyway we will get positive value double c equal to math dot squared x3 minus x2 star x3 minus x2 plus y3 minus y2 star y3 minus y2 all right then as i have told you i am not taking which one is greater a among a b and c i am directly putting this condition if any of this condition is satisfied then no doubt they are on a same straight line then that will is not going to be a boomerang okay so if a plus b equal to equal to c or b plus c equal to equal to a or a plus c equal to equal to b return false else return true that's all and close the brackets why return is false or true because we have to return the boolean data type okay so false or true only we can return okay so let me submit this and let us check what is the time complexity and memory efficiency see it is successfully compiled here you can see accepted uh, memory is uh, 34.6 mb runtime is 0 millisecond okay that means 100 uh, percent efficient than other java online submission and 100 uh, percent memory efficient too see this particular problem why it is 100 percent uh, time efficient why why runtime is 0 millisecond because i have not used any loops the input size is also not uh, going to increase so as a result we can solve this particular problem in o of one time complexity constant time complexity we are solving it right not using any for loop or anything so this is why it is optimized with respect to time and memory okay i'm going to post the same code in the description or in the comment section maybe uh, you can check there if you want and i will post also the link uh, for some important uh, programming questions uh, frequently appear in different service and product companies which i personally face too in different companies like tcs uh, digital tcs ninja infosys power programmer capgemini differential hiring process then um, uh, amazon okay uh, so the, those uh, problems i have uploaded some of them you can check there okay this is all for my this video practice the lead code problems more and more this is going to be no doubt very helpful in your interview process thank you